I am Adrian Helfert, Director of Multi-Asset for Westwood. I'll talk to you today about some of the markets that we've seen over the last week, and my colleague Matt Lockridge will speak to you later in the video about some of the equity market specifics. Just looking at the markets that we've seen over the course of this week, of course, coronavirus is taking on the markets and creating a wave of uncertainty around how much constraint and economic activity might actually impact and pull forward the risk of recession to the near term. Of course, markets hate uncertainty more than they even hate bad things. So until we get more certainty around actually what the, what the virus spread looks like, how the actual central banks might respond, then this is the kind of response we're going to get, which is effectively the equity markets hitting the panic button. Now, on the interest rate side, we're seeing interest rates drop dramatically, both on the possibility of lower global growth, as well as a responsive central bank. We do think that authorities will come in and provide us with more certainty over the course of this weekend, over the course of the next subsequent weeks, as we look for potential to constrain this, as we look for the potential to actually push out recessionary pricing further into the future, and we look for opportunities on the back of that. Funnily enough, you can look at emerging markets that have been performing a little better relative recently. China itself, where there's a lot of constraint around movement, has significantly outperformed this week over U.S. equity markets. So there are some positive signals that we see. Hi, this is Matt Lockridge with Westwood's U.S. Value Team. We wanted to put out a brief comment to talk about this week's market movement. Um, it was a surprisingly sharp move in the market this week. If you look at U.S. value indices, depending on which one you choose, this week they were down between 10 and 12 percent, and it was really broad-based selling. So earlier in the week we saw defensive sectors such as utilities, staples, REITs holding up better, but as we moved through the week and we got into Thursday and Friday, even those more defensive areas started to underperform. So sector dispersion was actually pretty small during the week. It was a little unnerving, too, as some of those defensive areas weren't providing the ballast or support to, pro to the portfolios that they were earlier in the week. But it's important to remember that that's actually a positive signal um, because that's the market searching for a bottom. Early in a sell-off, what you see is investors sell the most risky, hated assets. But as you move through a sell-off, investors start selling just what they can sell. So again, this is a positive and we're viewing it as such that we're probably closer to the market finding a bottom uh, than we have been. So what are we doing through this period? First, all of our teams are looking at new data points, incorporating all of this news flow into our current estimates of portfolio holdings. What we want to make sure is that the earnings impact is nowhere as significant as the movement down in the stock prices. So we want to ensure that our existing holdings continue to offer a high quality earnings stream with significant upside potential and only small, minimal downside risk. Um, secondly, we are building and executing on our buy list. So our view is this too shall pass and we want to be opportunistic and take this volatility to our advantage and start building positions and names that just a couple weeks ago were too expensive. So all of our analysts are really scrubbing their models, scrubbing their numbers um, to get an updated reward to risk at these current prices so that our portfolio teams can take advantage. As always, our first priority is to continue to protect your capital and we will continue to monitor and um, uh, adjust our portfolios as necessary. But we really, again, want to take advantage of this sell-off so that we're well positioned as we get to the other side of this. So th uh, thank you very much for your interest and thank you for listening.